all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we're talking about the detroit lions in today's video five and one 31 to 29 road victory against the then undefeated minnesota vikings this was a crazy football game it really was um it started all in minnesota's favor detroit dominated the second quarter the third quarter was a little bit uh, a couple of touchdowns for both teams and then the fourth quarter was just so weird and so chaotic probably david montgomery's worst nfl game and he used to play for the chicago bears so that's saying something but jared goff brian branch this defense um it was such a weird football game and it actually felt so competitive obviously being a two-point game 31 to 29 but it felt so like the statistics are so close jared goff 22 to 25 280 yards two touchdowns no interceptions sam darnold 22 to 27 for 260 a touchdown and interception aaron jones ran 14 times for 93 yards and a touchdown jameer gibbs ran 15 times for 116 yards and two touchdowns this was just like a classic nfc north divisional game it really was this was beautiful and unfortunately for minnesota they're still in my opinion a really good football team this has huge ramifications moving forward the detroit lions are literally five and one and if you've watched the detroit lions play football this season as sporadic as it's been it's pretty crazy that this detroit lions team is five and one like that is awesome so welcome back to the channel obviously we're talking about the detroit lions in today's video but before we do if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content we post a bunch of lions videos on this channel I also have a lions youtube channel i'll pin that in the comment section down below let's get back into it so like i said man it was probably dave Montgomery's first nfl game nine carries 31 yards only 3.4 yards per carry and you get a catastrophic fumble in the fourth quarter that meant from josh metellus the safety for minnesota and it was returned for a touchdown from Ivan pace jr and that changed the whole football game you know outside of the first quarter where we said minnesota was up 10 to 0 detroit scored 21 unanswered points in the second so we're going into halftime 21 to 10 detroit's way and for the majority of the second half even up until that fumble recovery uh, from Ivan pace jr for the touchdown it was a really good competitive game, but Detroit just had the upper leg. You know, Detroit was always up a touchdown with the football. Like, Detroit would score, and then Minnesota would score, and vice versa. And Detroit just always had the upper leg in this football game up until David Montgomery's fumble. And all of a sudden, Detroit's down by two points, one point. It's 29-28 in the fourth quarter as that clock's ticking, but I still never really felt concerned that Detroit was going to lose that football game. They did a great job. Jared Goff especially did a phenomenal job. 22-25 for 280 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions against Brian Flores and the number one ranked Minnesota Vikings defense. You just put up 31. You know, Even if this was even less sexy of a game as it was, you still got to take wins like this, folks. The Detroit Lions are 5-1, and one, and you're now leading the NFC North again because you got the tiebreaker over Mini. So, once again, this has huge ramifications moving forward. I know it's only, what is it, week 7? It doesn't seem like it, but as we saw last year on the road against the San Francisco 49ers in the Ch conference championship game, every win counts. If it's ugly, if it's pretty, like last week against Dallas, it don't matter. A win is a win as far as I'm concerned. Jameer Gibbs, feed the dude. Feed the dude. He's such a freaking stud. 15 carries, 116 yards, two touchdowns, including a 45-yard rushing touchdown in the second quarter. Phenomenal game. They ran 27 times for 144 yards and two touchdowns, averaging 5.3 yards per carry against, like I said, the best defense, in my opinion, the Minnesota Vikings. Amon Ross St. Brown continues to have a phenomenal season. Eight catches, 112 yards, and a touchdown. Most importantly, he was targeted eight times, and he caught the ball eight times. Jameer Gibbs getting it going, four catches, 44 yards. David Montgomery, three catches, 39 yards. So I guess it wasn't David Montgomery's worst game of his career, but you get the point here that fumble was catastrophic and he also got banged up right away in the first quarter Khalif Raymond three catches 39 yards and a touchdown man these two cats 
Khalif Raymond and Tim Patrick. The stats are an eye popping. No one's expecting the stats to be eye popping, but they still find ways to make huge ass plays. Huge ass plays. Khalif Raymond obviously had that touchdown. I think it was 21 yard touchdown from Jared Goff. I think that was the third quarter, if I'm not mistaken. But even a guy like Tim Patrick, Khalif's one of his other two receptions outside of that touchdown was on like third and long. And this dude, like, they just make plays when they have to. And so Jameson Williams, one catch minus four yards. Kind of weird. It's like one week, Jameson Williams, the most intriguing young wide receiver in the NFL. The other week, you don't even remember he's on the field. So I would like to see more JMO moving forward. And even as a biased Sam Laporta owner in fantasy football, he had one catch for 25 yards. It was a huge 25-yard catch. But this is now back-to-back weeks where a top three or at worst top five tight end in the NFL has one catch. It literally doesn't make any sense to me. Like I said, I know part of this rant is because I have him on my fantasy football team. I'm getting my ass beat. But one catch for 52 yards and a touchdown last week against Dallas. That's awesome. One catch again for 25 yards. Like, I just don't really get it. I'd love to see more Sam Laporta moving forward. But I feel like I've said that all five games of the regular season thus far. I'm moving down to defense. Brian Branch, I tweeted this out. Go follow my Twitter. The link's in the description. Like Brian Branch might be the most talented young safety in the National Football League. He had another interception today. This guy's all over the field. He had a fumble recovery for a touchdown that ended up getting turned back. But everybody on the defense needs to step up because the best edge rusher, one of the best edge rushers in the NFL, Aiden Hutchinson, is injured. I think one thing was very apparent. Now, Detroit sacked Sam Darnold four times, all right? You had one from, or sorry, you had, yeah, I thought you had two from Jack Campbell, but I guess not. You just had one from Jack Campbell, Malcolm Rodriguez, uh, Nwaske, and then who was the other guy who had a sack? Josh Pascal, that's right. He was banged up, like, left and right in the first half of that game. So Josh Pascal would be the backup to Aiden Hutchinson. He was, you know, maybe going to be the opposite. He was the opposite guy of Aiden Hutchinson once Barkus Davenport hit the IR for the season. But one thing was clear. Even though Detroit had four, or, or four sacks sorry, this afternoon, one thing is extremely clear. They need to do something at edge. They just do. Don't be fooled by that four-sack metric. They did. The defense hit Darnold, and they pressured Darnold when they needed to. Like, this defense rised to or rose to the occasion. But... If we want, if Detroit wants to win a Super Bowl, if Detroit's trying to like win the NFC North and be the you know the crowns of the NFC in general, get that number one seed, I think they desperately need a pass rusher. I'm curious what my Lions fans watching this video have to say about that. But folks, that's all I got. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily Detroit Lions or sorry, weekly Detroit Lions videos. Hit that comment section if you guys want more uh, like more like daily Lions videos. But guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. And give me all of your thoughts from this game down below. Peace.